Hello, once again, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install the WordPress on your local computer. So basically, we're going to use a local host. And before you do that, you need to make sure you have either XAMPP or WAMP installed on your computer. Because WordPress using PHP, which is a server-side scripting language, you need WAMP, which has PHP admin as well, where you can create your database. In order to get this, just go to Google and then search for XAMPP. And you can go to apachefriends.org when you open apache friends you should see something like this and then select the os version that you are using in my case i'm using windows so i'll just go ahead and then click on the windows version and it will give you option to download where you it will take you through sourcefork.net and then you can go ahead and then download it you can see it's very very popular more than 500,000 downloads just within a week so when you download it just follow the process to install and then you should see something like this make sure you need to turn on Apache and then MySQL because you need these two to be running in order to start using WordPress. Now you download WordPress from this site and then go ahead. And then what you do, so when you download WordPress, what you're going to get is you're going to get this file. Make sure you extract it, right click and then extract the file. So you should be getting something like this. Open this file. This is actually the file we're going to move to our folder. Now let's see what we're going to do. We're going to copy this file, this WordPress file. And then go ahead to your drive c anytime you install zam you should be seeing the zam folder within your drive c open that and then within this we're going to locate a folder called htdocs so you're going to locate this file htdocs folder open that and then paste wordpress over there which i've already done i've already installed wordpress over there so i've placed words so make sure you open the htdocs folder and then paste the wordpress folder here you can give it any name at all that you want so i have my wordpress over there now what we need to do is to create a database, create a database for your WordPress installation. So just open a new tab and then type localhost. So when you open localhost or you type localhost in your browser, it's going to open the dashboard for you and then we want to create a database for our WordPress installation. Go ahead and click on PHP Madme. So when you click on PHP Madme, it's actually going to take you to this dashboard where you can have some default database or maybe databases you've created previously. So this is where we can create a database for our WordPress installation. So let's go ahead and click on new. And then we need to give our database a name. So you can give any name at all you want. I'm just going to call it WordPress. So my database name is WordPress and then I'm going to click on create. Okay, so that is all we need. We then that's all we need. We need not to do anything again. So that's all we need here, only the database name. Now we can do our installation. We already have the WordPress file within the XAMPP folder. Okay. So now we're going to do we're going to type localhost again. But this time around it's going to be slash the name of our folder which is WordPress. So that's the folder name within the XAMPP folder. So just type slash that and then hit enter. I'm going to give you the interface. Welcome to WordPress. Before getting started, it's going to show you this interface. So this is where we're going to do the installation for our WordPress. So we're going to need a database name. Remember, we've already created a database, which is WordPress. We need a database name. We need to give a name to that the database password and then the database rules. So with all this set let's go ahead and click on let's go and then we need a database remember i give coincidentally i give the name as wordpress so we just have to use the same name as wordpress so you need to make sure you confirm that that's the name of our database you can give any name it doesn't really matter it will still going to pick and then the username is going to be root and then there's not going to be any password. So it's actually going to be root with no password. And we'll click on submit. So you can see it has given you this information. All right. Spikey, you have made it through this part of the installation. So the installation has begun. Just go ahead and click on run the installation. And then now we almost there. Now we need a site name. So the site you're going to create, you just need a name for that site. So just go ahead and then maybe just give just any name. 
and then you need the username and then the password in order to log into the dashboard of your wordpress website so let me just give admin and then just copy this default password this is what i'm going to use so basically these are the things we need the name of your site which you can change anytime at all but for your username you can change that so make sure you keep, take note of that so we need admin which is the username and then the password which i'm going to use this name you can actually use any password at all that you want but it should be very strong so i'm just going to go ahead and then click on what installed wordpress So we actually need to provide email as well. So make sure you have email for that. So I'm actually going to use this email for that and then make sure your password is correct. So I'm going to stick to this password and then click on installation, install WordPress. Our installation is successful. So we have our WordPress installed. So the next thing we need to do is to log into the back end. Then we can start adding things, plugins, and then we can configure our website. So let's click on login. And then this time around, remember we added a username, which is admin, remember it's case sensitive. And then the password, which we copied, which I copied, very strong password. So that is it. If you want to keep this password, you can say, remember this. Anytime you want to log in, you don't need to type the password again. So I just click on login, and this should take us to the back end of our website. See, welcome to WordPress. We've been able to install WordPress successfully. So we can see this is the dashboard. Now we have our other menu over here. So from here, you can start setting up your sites. You can go to appearance, install your team, and also download plugins that you want to use. If you want to view the front end of your site, you can actually just go ahead, move your cursor here. Or if you want to open a new tab, if you go here, just try to open. If you go to the name of your site, you can just open this in a new tab. And then look at the front end of your site basically it's going to come with the default wordpress theme which is the current version which is 2023 so this is going to be the front end of our website so basically because we're using this default theme it's not having much so from here you can start adding plugins add menus and add other things to your WordPress website to get your complete site. Like, subscribe for more video tutorials. I already have a video on my YouTube channel on how to create a website using WordPress. So if you actually go to my YouTube channel and then check that for yourself and then follow the step in order to create your own WordPress website, the steps are quite easy to follow. So that is how to install WordPress on your local PC. Like, subscribe for more video like this and like, subscribe and turn on post notification.